coming at you with what should be an entertaining beer review. That's right. This one comes from Paul at PA Brew News. Thanks, Paul. And this one is the Martians Kidnap Santa. It's an eggnog stout. <laughs> Get a good look at those graphics. That's, that's just too fun. <laughs> this is a seasonal release from Springhouse Brewing Company out of Conestoga, PA. It's an imperial stout, but it's supposed to have some uh, holiday type flavors and eggnog on it. It's uh, a release that's it's available in November and December. So <laughs> I'm gonna get this one cracked open and give it a try. Wow, it, it pours pretty, look at that. That's a nice looking beer. It's really dark, I mean, it, it really looks kind of black to me. And it's a very much of a mocha colored head on there. A little bit of rockiness and the rest of it's creamy, so nice appearance. Let's get the nose. Oh, you definitely get some eggnog. <laughs> That's cool. You get a, the first thing I really got was uh, spices, like holiday spices. And, and I got, well, like vanilla, like a, a creamy eggnog, a very creamy version. I'm getting nutmeg. Uh, I got a little bit of cinnamon on there. And then I got a bunch of coffee coming off of it. Very intriguing, I mean, Cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, coffee, maybe a hint of chocolate on there too. All right, let's dive in. Oh, that's, that's intriguing. That's so intriguing. Oh, that's nice. That has a somewhat of a creamy mouth. Not super creamy, but somewhat of a creamy. And the mouthfeel on it is on the light end of full. So it's a full mouthfeel, but it's definitely on the light end of that. There's some cinnamon. It's not a super strong cinnamon, which is nice. And there's a good amount of nutmeg, which I'm a big fan of nutmeg, which is wonderful. But I get the feeling there's some other things in there. I wonder if there's like a hint of clove possibly on it. But there, there, there's more spice than just those two. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so intrigued. Okay, I'm gonna let this warm and come back and see how it might change and then we'll get some numbers on this. You know, I, I like the scent on this. I'm, I'm really enjoying the scent on this. My wife doesn't appreciate it so much, but I like eggnog. <laughs> I'm a jovial type and I've got that beard going. Thank you to Nate for, you know, my excuse to grow the beard out. Um, yeah, this is interesting. All those things that I said earlier apply really. You know, you've got, like I say, coffee, just a splash of chocolate, but a coffee, just a splash of roastiness. Um, the coffee's really the, the more dominant part of the dark beer on, on this, but you've got that creaminess. And the head builds back real easy. Uh, I don't know, I've been doing it a lot, but it, it really was building back. And <laughs> You, you got a bit of that eggnog on there for sure. It's a little more artificial in, in some senses, um, but, but you've got eggnog, you've got vanilla, and the vanilla aspect on it though is very nice. It's a, it's a nice rich vanilla taste, but that cinnamon, the nutmeg is strong, and my wife and I were talking about it, and I think she's right. I think it's like an allspice, which is a unique spice, because it kind of, it's like it kind of covers a lot of those flavors of other types of spices in one in a way. Um, so, a real treat. This is a fun one. Makes me think of this one I can't quite spit out right off the top, but it was like a barrel-aged version of You'll Shoot Your Eye Out, a Texas beer. All right, rating time. Well, this is gonna be a tough one to rate for me, actually. I mean, for style, I mean, this is an imperial style. So really, I'm in the realm of Imperial Stouts, uh, you know, it's not gonna hit all those normal happy buttons. In that sense, you've gotta rate it lower, you know? I mean, in terms of Imperial Stout, I think you're looking at a B minus here. And I think I'd give it like a 81, you know, realistically. Now, overall though, is a very different creature because that's what I like. 
And I love creativity. I absolutely love variety. And this beer has that in spades. It's, it's just, it's a one of a kind for sure. So I've got to rate it much higher. I'm enjoying it. It's pleasurable. I'm going to give it an 88, a B plus. I'm going to have a fun time uh, drinking this through the rest of the evening. Here it is. This is the Martians Kidnap Santa, an eggnog stout from Springhouse Brewing Company out of Conestoga, Pennsylvania. That's the home state of Paul from PA Brew News and a few other friends. If you ever get a chance, I'd say grab a bottle if you like these descriptions. Kind of a fun one to have for sure. Life's too short to drink cheap beer. And I'll see you in the next beer review.